Hello again. I'm at Glen Tress today, which is somewhere I come quite often, but don't often film here, so I thought I'd fix that today. Uh, I'm a bit short on time because I spent over an hour this morning chasing down a creek on the bike, which I thought was coming from the main pivot. So I stripped that down, cleaned it, re-greased it. I thought that was the problem solved, but it's still creaking. So it's obviously an upper pivot or shock mount. I don't know, it's going to need more tinkering to find out. So the plan is uh, to get up to the mast and do plan B or trail fairy plan, I think it's called, on trail forks. Then thunderstruck and then careless whisper. I think that's all I'll have time for. Uh, but we're nearly at the top of the climb now, so I'll get you at the top. Okay, I'm up at the mast. Parked at Peebles Car Park and just came straight up the hill non-stop and it's taken 48 minutes to get to here, which I'm pretty pleased at because I think my personal record for that's 45 minutes, so that's not bad. That's given me a bit more time to play with. So I'm going to head into plan B, trail fairy plan. I've not got the gimbal with me and I've not got my full face, so the GoPro's just going to be on uh, a chesty mount. So it might be a bit shaky, uh, and it might get covered in mud because it was raining yesterday, but we'll see what kind of footage we get. There's the cleaned and re-greased main pivot, which was absolutely fine anyway. So I'm thinking the creaking must be coming from here, here, or here. Or maybe here, or here, or here. Uh. Okay, trail ferry plan. This has got to be the hardest trail on the hill, I think. Hammer time's pretty tricky as well, but I think this pips it. So the aim will be to get down well, one, safely, two, without a dab would be nice. It's always really wet at the top here. Oh, Hopefully that will burn off. The GoPro is shaking about, so hopefully, at least some of the footage is usable. It's rocky shoot. Chunky. So many loose rocks. Wow. Fancy. Ah, shoulder the tree. That was painful. Accelerate so fast. Oh, soaked. See the drop. Yes. 
Excellent, no dabs. Looks like the lens is clean. Oh, I really enjoyed that. I don't think I've done that trail for about six months. It's definitely got more rutted out. A couple of the little gullies are so deep now you kind of catch your pedals. Or I noticed from the flat pedals I was kind of catching them on the side. Shoulder's a bit sore from scraping it on a tree but that could have been a lot worse. So now we're just going along to pick up Thunderstruck. Uh, which is another great trail, looking forward to that. I rode that quite recently. The start of it's a complete mess but the rest of it's brilliant so. Oh, the start of this is like a swamp. There we go. Right, there's no way the lens is going to stay clean on this one. But we'll do our best. It's quite out wet, it was here yesterday. That one was at a Well, well, that's thunderstruck done. That was a bit wetter than expected. There's so much standing water on that trail. My feet are absolutely soaking. I knew there usually is a couple of big puddles in it, but I think it was wetter here than I thought it was, so yeah. We're on our way up to Kayla's Whisper now. And that usually runs quite well all year round, so that should be a bit better. Okay, Kayla's Whisper. And this will be a bit drier. Whoa, horrible route. Yeah, that was a bit wetter than I thought too, so conditions haven't been the best today, but it's still been good. I'm absolutely soaked, but I've had a good time. Stayed on the bike, which was a surprise. But yeah, short on time, so I'll have to call it a day there. Just spin back down to the people's car park and get back up the road. An hour and a half. 
up to finish. One big climb, three good descents. Job done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.